What up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? Hope y'all doing all right. If you ain't doing all right, you already know. Watch this video. Go ahead. Feel a little bit better. Go get you some popcorn. Make yourself some cereal, some ramen noodles, whatever the fuck it is you need so you can feel better. You know what I'm saying? Go watch some movies or something. Anyways, I hope your day's better, and if it ain't good, I hope it gets better from here on out, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's your boy Verified J, and I'm here with another video. So basically, up in this joint, I'm about to be pushing, put the weapons down, stop the weapon violence, and put your hands up, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm a small account, and that don't matter. At this point, like, I don't care. I don't care if it's on a big platform, I don't care if it's on a little platform, and at the end of the day... With the content that I create, I can create whatever I want, when I want, and basically do what I want, because this is my shit. So whoever wants to go and support it, I go ahead and I applaud you. I appreciate you for doing what you're doing, coming and helping me out. But if not, you can go ahead and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be here. Everybody, y'all can do what y'all want. You don't got to be here. But with that being said, I want you to also respect my opinion and understand where I'm coming from. Now, obviously, we don't live in a perfect world, you know, it's not going to stop 100%, you know what I'm saying? People are still going to go ahead and use gun violence and have weapons and people are going to die every day, but I want to be one of the people that tries to prevent it as much as possible, try and, you know, call it, have less frequency for it, I don't want to, I want to stop going on the news and fucking see somebody get shot stabbed or there was a homicide suicide because someone killed their family and then killed themselves afterwards it's like it's sad to see it's a sad sight to see and even out in the streets out in the streets people be beefing and the first thing they want to do is they want to pull out a gun and shoot somebody and take their life like that's not it bro it's really not it if it gets to the point where you conflict so hard where you can't even resolve it with talking words if you gotta do what you gotta do, bro, plan it out, get some gloves and, and, and fight like men. Box, bro, box it out. It ain't worth taking somebody's life, bro. It ain't worth taking somebody's life. At the end of the day, you're, you're taking someone's child away, you know? If they're a young adult, you could possibly be taking someone's parent away. You're taking someone's aunt or uncle away. You're taking someone's niece or nephew away. You're taking someone's grandson or granddaughter away. Like, you're taking away a whole life, and you can't bring that person back, you know what I'm saying? Even if, even if that person's family is like, oh, put them on to death, you know what I'm saying? Or, or put them to jail in life, you know what I'm saying? Taking another life, it, it, like, two wrongs don't make a right, you know what I'm saying? It's just not right. Weapon violence and all that other shit, it ain't right. And I'm not perfect either. I'm not saying I'm the perfect individual. And I'm not trying to go and tell you, oh, yeah, go ahead and and and, and do this. Do what I say because this is my video. You know, I, I ain't going and saying that. I'm just going ahead and, and I'm, I'm giving advice. I'm letting you know as an individual, speaking individual to an individual, especially me being bipolar and having anger issues. And I'm always ready to beat the shit out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? So along this YouTube, along this YouTube ride. I might get into it with somebody, but just because I get into it with somebody doesn't mean I'm going to want to pull out a pocket knife and stab them. You know what I'm saying? If it gets to the point where I can't resolve it with words or trying to communicate, I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to get some gloves. I'm going to give them some gloves. I'm going to duke it out in the ring. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't duke it out in the ring, find somewhere. Find somewhere to set it up. Y'all both get some boxing gloves and y'all set it up. If y'all don't got gloves, make sure you got the little wrap, the little hand and wrist wraps, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you set it up and, you know, don't just go and try and fucking kill somebody. It's not worth it, man. It's really not worth it. Because at the end of the day, I know you're so heated and it's so in the moment. You're like, oh, I want to fuck this person up. I want to make sure they don't breathe. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure I'm set I send them six feet under. But then after that adrenaline to dumb pumping. And you're back to reality, and you're looking. You're like, damn, I really just killed someone. And next thing you know, you're in a cop car with with handcuffs. Your hands are tied behind your back. And you're charged with first-degree murder. And you're going to jail because you killed somebody. When you could have, you had a thousand and one ways to figure it out. Besides going and taking somebody's life. That's just how I see it. Being a young adult and 
having a lot of people that I care about and even losing people to gun violence and weapon violence, losing so many people around me. That's just something that I want to go ahead and I want to I want to push. That's something I want to encourage to the younger generation, to my generation, to the older people. You know what I'm saying? That's just something I want to go and push. So go ahead and make sure you leave a like, comment, the opinion, all that good shit. You know what I'm saying? Share this to a friend because I feel like this is really important. If it's not important to you, don't share it, man. But I just feel like you can spread the word. You could open a couple ears, open a couple minds. You know, you could lessen more problems. Like I said, less frequency. I want to actually go on the news and see the weather report. Not see that somebody got fucking stabbed 16 times or, you know, something like that. And I'm not, this is all jokes aside. I'm being so serious. So, that's just, yeah. It's going to be guns down, weapons down, hands up. Like I said, if I ever get into beef with anybody, you know. I'm, I'm a real chill dude, but if I get into it with you, and I like I said, I can't figure it out without talking, hey, we running these. I'm about to get you some gloves. I'm going to give me some gloves. I'll let you train. I'll give you two weeks, three weeks. I'm going to train too, and we'll duke it out in the boxing ring. That's all there is to it. it. We're young adults, man. We shouldn't be out here killing each other. You know, you only live once, and at the end of the day, you can't take something like that back. So... Just open that third eye, man. Just think about it. But yeah, until next time, your boy Verified J, I'm about this joint.